Good morning. Coming in for the first check on a big, big beaver blitz line that I set out yesterday. Stayed up most of the night trying to get it to edit and upload. It kept crashing on me, so here I am. If it gets done, I'll put it out first. But I set out close to two dozen beaver sets. So I made sure I got the boat empty. <laughs> I'm hoping to have quite a few catches this morning, but to get it started, and uh, I've got about two miles of drainage basin that way set, about a mile and a half downstream set, so we'll see how it goes. I'll get it started. Well, <clears throat> I know I've paddled by one beaver already, I know I got it. But uh, this caster mound had a Bridger number five guarding it, offset, and it is a miss. This is the one right below this low water dam up here. But uh, tracks look small. I mean small, like a mink, muskrat, something. Something small was jumping all over that. I mean. Uh, not only they're a little smaller than house cat size tracks, but I'll get the set remade and move down to number two. Well, nothing on set number two, but this is a good look. There's my caster mound that I made up, and it's been squashed. They come in from the front, but right, right there is an 850 bedded on the bottom. Somehow the beaver managed to squash the mound. <laughs> We'll get up here and get it redoped. Maybe they'll try it again tonight. I don't got nothing on this set. This is uh, going to be set number three, I'm checking. But uh, it's got sign all over it. There's a little caster mound right here that I put in. That trap's still busy. I'll keep moving. We got down to this wall of a caster mound that I set yesterday. I had to get out of the boat and set it. But, uh, I did not feel the trap up there and the mound is somewhat tore up. But that's the mound. Now here's my stake out in deeper water. I'll get it pulled in and see if we've held on to it. But it's catty one. Hopefully. Well, beaver number one he is caught. It's in the boat. I've got another one down at the next trap. I floated by it when I came in to check so far. But this is gonna be set number four catch number one maybe I won't screw that count up today but it's a nice nice beaver big two year old I'll roll him back in behind me Keith. remake the set well this is the one I could see when I paddled by I could see the tip of his tail sticking out of the water this is uh, one two Three, four. I'm just gonna quit counting and go check them. This is beaver number two caught for the morning. Big two year old. And a bridger number five offset. Above the, above the ankle catch. He wasn't getting out of that. But uh, whew, I'll keep going. This is the set that caught number two. I put a little mound in. This amount I made between two that they already had here. This stick, this bent stick right here on top. I put some more caster lure on it and rebedded the trap right back out here in about five and a half, six inches of water. Offset a little to one side. Hopefully we'll have another catch here tomorrow. I'll keep moving. Just getting down to the next set. The uh there's a little cut through ditch right here that runs out into the main creek. I put a caster mound right here at the point and uh, the trap's gone. So I'll get the stake pulled out and leave the water here in a minute. We'll see if we've held on to it. But uh, something's going on here. We'll find out in a minute.
There you go, Bill Duke. There's a Duke 850 and a tank. <laughs> I got to get over here to shallow water, get him pulled in the canoe, but I knew when I pulled him up off the bottom, he's got some weight. Good front foot catch and a Duke 850. He wasn't getting out of that. I'll take a look at him in a minute when I get over here to shallow water to pull him in. I knew he was a big one when I started pulling up the stake and it was bent. <laughs> that takes a big beaver. We'll see him in a minute. That's going to be one I got to get a weight on. Holy cow. What a beaver. He just eats my hand. Probably 13, 14 inch tail. Six and a half, seven wide. I'm guessing somewhere around somewhere around uh, 50, 50 on the pounds. But uh, big old pretty beaver. Not seeing him all bit up. Whew, that's uh, beaver number three so far and we haven't even made it to the swamp. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. Here's another one of these little beaver ditches. It cuts through back out here to the main creek behind me. But uh, this is the caster mound I had set. I built my own right next to it. Usually it's a high percentage catch situation. But apparently nothing came through here last night. I'll keep moving. See if we've got anything at the next set. Getting down to the next set. The uh, It's still where I put it. I mean it's a Duke 850, right here's my caster mound. Traps bedded right in here in about five inches of water. But uh, got a little fencing here, a little fencing over here, and uh, just didn't get any visitors here. But I've got three in the boat, and I'll keep moving. Well, I got nothing on this caster mound set. <sighs> With sign that fresh, you'd think it'd been a guaranteed catch. Sometimes sets you don't think will hit hit and ones that look like they're guaranteed to catch don't get any visitors it's strange but i'll keep moving down hopefully you can see the set there there's an 850 duke bedding on the bottom right in front of this caster mound and i've got it all doped up had no takers on it but you can see the jaw on the bottom right there squished down in the mud ready to rock and roll we get something coming through here. I'll move on down to the next set. I do have a miss at this set. This caster mount had gotten visited, but the uh, traps just laying there fired. We'll get it reset and keep moving. That at least I got a visitor here. Just didn't hang on to it. Maybe a chest fire. I'll move it a little offset and reset it and hopefully it'll get hit again tonight. Uh, here's that set that I've got put in for otter. There's a TS-85 bedded on the bottom coming out of that trail. And there's otter poop, fish scales, bones, all over the place up there. But otter take a long time to come back through. But uh, when they do, they'll probably come here. This is one of their known places. Right here's my set. Just a little offset to the left. Right there. Keep moving. Well, no visitors on this mound last night. But the uh, trap's still bedded right in here. They're coming up right here. But I do have a bycatch on the next set, so you'll get to take a good look at a live neutral. He's sitting there looking at me. I'll paddle over there, we'll take a look at him. He's a big one. We'll see you over there. Pretty good size neutra sitting right there. I could see him from across the cut where I was at at the other beaver set, and I knew I had a catch, but. Uh... They get pretty bad tempered. They're like a giant muskrat. They'll move and growl and everything else. When I get him dispatched, I'll take a better look at him. That is a pretty good size neutral. 
But uh, I'll get him stored behind me with the beavers. Get my set remade over here at this caster mound. And uh, hope for a beaver catch tonight. But sometimes these things just plug up your sets. I'll uh, move down to the next ones. Well, next set, nada. You can see the trout bedded right in here. There's the caster mound that I've got. But uh, no takers on it last night. Maybe they'll move tonight. This one is shocking. I mean, that's a caster mound. Right there's the trap. On a beaver lodge. <laughs> that's like knocking on their front door. I got three or four more to go check. Uh, we'll see if we did any good down there. I had a miss on this offset ridger number five. And the caster mound is, what well, not a caster mound, but where I put the caster was squashed. Fresh tracks up on this. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I like these that much. I'll get it reset and uh, move down well i've gotten to this mound and so far i'm not i may find it in a minute but i'm not finding the trap but uh, i will find the cable here in a minute <clears throat> just going by the looks of things and the amount of nutri poop i see it potentially could be a nutri We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Definitely not a neutral. Pretty good sized beaver. Whew. Just got him rolled in the boat. Had about a hundred pounds of this stuff rolled up around the cable. Whew. I get to see it remade. Keep moving down. But that's all of him right there. A uh, big one. <laughs> I'll get him stored get set remade and move down well no takers on these mounds i'm gonna paddle down this way just a little bit because i had a beaver just slap his tail at me and this is one of them it sounds like somebody threw a cinder block in the river i'm gonna see if i can't see where he's at i don't think he's in a set i don't think i made any past here but he sure give me that warning slap i'm gonna paddle down and look see what i can find for sign see you in a minute Right here, I did have one more set. But uh, the trap does not appear to be where I put it. And that slap may be from a beaver that I've got down the drowning table. Back up and watch a few minutes. See if he sticks his head up and get him dispatched before I start trying to pull on a cable. I've been there, done that. I'll, <laughs> I'll wait and see if something sticks his head up first. See you in a minute. Whew. Must have been his maid over here looking for him. But it is a tank. <laughs> a tank. I'm going to have to get over here in the shallower water. Because uh, <laughs> canoe's got a load. And i got to roll this thing over in the boat. He's... <laughs> big. One. We'll find out in a minute how big. <laughs> That's a good one. Big old tennis racket size tail. Back foot catch on the TS-85. I've caught some in Dukes. Duke 850s. I caught one in a Bridger number five. Some in a TS-85. That is a good one. I got two I'm going to weigh when I get home. I say this one's... This one has... The dark teeth. I'm saying this one's 45 and the other one's 50. We'll find out when I get home. That's a big beaver. I get the set remade and head back toward the boat ramp. Here's my catch of the day. Got five beavers, three of them. See, there's a, there's a size 13 boot next to the tail. Three of them are like that right there. Bigger than a size 13 boot tails are. Two of them just big two year olds, about the size of a number 10 boot. And a tank of a neutral. But it was 
Just check day one. I got a week to leave these sets in here to soak. And I'm gonna hammer them. Kiss a year on YouTube.